Hey, what's going on everyone? It's your boy Redstone Nyx here and welcome back to another command block tutorial video. Now today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do vex cure commands in Minecraft. And what I mean by it is that these commands will allow you to take a similar process of turning zombified villagers back into villagers, but this time with vexes back into LAs. Now the previous one I did was the zombify piglin cure command, so if you haven't seen that video, Go check it out, I will leave a link down below in the description after you finish watching this video. And also two weeks ago I did a video called Vex Conversion Command so I will also leave that video down below in the description. But let's just say this video will pretty much continue off from that video because well, that video I turned out lays into Vexes, now this video will pretty much reverse that process if that makes sense. And now before I go into more details on what those commands are to making this happen, you know the drill, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss another video. Apart from that guys, let's begin today's video. Okay guys, so here are all the commands right here, so it's just a couple of commands to make this all work out. And, as always, all of these commands here will be in the description down below so you guys can copy and paste them into your world later on. Now, let us begin. So first off, as always, I'm going to demonstrate how this works. I'm going to get my uh, vexes right here. Also, some potion of luck and also some diamonds. And I'll explain later what those are for. And also, as you guys are already aware, that vexes are not the easiest mobs to even have in one place or to stay put because they can face through anything. So I guess for one thing, I'm going to turn this on so that way they can't escape in this place. And also, I'm going to get myself some items I've made. I got a mini vex trap, and also a mini vex trap remover right here, and I will leave both of these items as bonus commands in the comments down below. Okay guys, so I got my items right here, so I'm gonna go into survival and show you how it's done. So I'm gonna spawn in one vex right here, and now I'm gonna see if it can get it to attack me right here. Hey vex, I'm over here, come and get me. And this is what I have the mini vex trap for, so I'm gonna place this down, as you can see here. And as you can see, the vex is pretty much trapped, and cannot move a muscle. So now, here's how the process works, so I'm gonna splash it with a potion of luck. And you guys probably recognize this from my previous cure videos. And then all I have to do is just toss a piece, sorry, a diamond right below it. And, it turns right back into a friendly LA, as you see here. So pretty much, taking the process of like when the LA's turn into vexes from lightning from that previous video two weeks ago, now I just reverse the process and they turns it back into LA's right over here. And you can pretty much do this for multiple vexes too. And also, I should keep tell you that uh, make sure you have different traps because this trap only works for one vex at a time, as you know. So, so make sure you're aware of that. Hey, come on, vexes, come at me! You know you want to. Actually, let me see if I can splash them with a potion of luck before they come back down. Oh, missed. Two hours later. Okay, so I'm gonna toss a diamond below this one. Oh, and apparently it turned them both back into outlay, so... But you guys get the idea on how this command works. Pretty much undoing the process of the outlays turning into Vexen from Lightning from my previous video on that, back into outlays, as I just mentioned before. Okay, so now that you've seen that, let's go over the commands into making this all work out. Okay, guys, so this first command right here detects if a Vex has a potion of luck, and if there's... A diamond on the ground near them. So it's execute at P, run execute if entity at E, and then you do type equals Minecraft colon vex, and then do comma MBT equals. And inside brackets we do active underscore effects, and inside these brackets we do ID colon Minecraft colon luck. Close all brackets here, and then you do run execute if entity at E type equals item, they do mbt equals item colon id colon minecraft colon diamond, and then you do distance equals 0 dot dot 3, 
then do MBT equals on ground colon one B and then close all brackets at the end here. And make sure you set this command to always active as well. So I have a redstone comparator like this with redstone repeater going into these next four commands right here. So this command pretty much summons an outlay where the vex is. So same first bit as the last one except we do this at the end here. Run summon minecraft colon outlay and then do three squiggly lines like this here. Then this command over here creates a cloud particle explosion effect. So same first bit as the last one except we do this at the end here. We do run particle minecraft colon cloud do three squiggly lines like this and then you do 0.75 three times like this, 0.25 here, and then do 1000 at the end. And then this command over here gets rid of the vex with the luck potion effect. So again, same first bit as the last one, except we do this here. We do kill at E, type equals vex, with the uh, potion effect of luck, as you see here. And then this command over here simply removes the diamond from the ground. So it's just a simple kill at E type equals item comma MBT equals and then you put in the information for the diamond. And then we put in this tag right here which is on ground colon 1B and then close all brackets at the end here. Pretty standard stuff. And yeah that is pretty much vex cure commands in Minecraft. And that my friends is gonna wrap up for today's video. So if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like this, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss another video. Apart from that guys, thanks for watching, I'll catch you all next week in the next one. Goodbye!